All right, back here on Luke here. And as you can see in front of you, this is uh, that plastic bezel. This is part five of the sun bleaching process here. And uh, this plastic bezel is coming along quite nicely, I have to say. Uh, definitely compared to before, there's a huge difference in the, the color. Right now it's about a kind of cream color uh, as compared to the brown color it was before. And here you can even see the dramatic difference between the two sides. There's a really big difference between those uh, two tones. And before it was really, really easy to see the uh, the two tones right now it's getting a little bit more uh, difficult they're starting to blend in a little bit better so uh, yeah that last coat of uh, the oxidol actually did very well and what we're gonna do today is we're going to apply this this is uh, hair bleach and uh, this thing comes with three parts it comes with a powder part it comes with a gel part and then you just mix the two together and uh, apply it so that's what we're gonna do right now I've already added the uh, bleach on the inside of it you're supposed to add it and then shake it for about 30 seconds and then the next one is the gel and then we'll apply it with this got some plastic gloves here so that's what we're gonna do next right here so let's uh get on that try and open this up here we'll add this uh, add the cream you guys want to see a funny uh, company name I don't know if you guys can read that or not Mandom <laughs> popular company in Japan so It's like something that you would use uh, on a late night after coming home, uh, you know, or going out to a bar. <laughs> hey dude, you got any mandoms on you? <laughs> uh, Alright. So we got the uh, cream in there. And we're going to shake this again. Put the cap on here again. Kind of windy out here. Gotta watch out for the stuff blowing over. All right, that should be pretty good. Get my other glove here, and then we'll start to apply this. Kind of just like uh, we're applying it to hair. Um, just kind of around every place, uh, every part that we can. And uh, yeah, let's take the old cap off here. On there. Whoa, that's got a strong smell. <laughs> Alright, so first we're gonna add a little bit on top here. And hopefully it'll there we go. Very, very uh, creamy here. <laughs> a creamy mandum. <laughs> uh, that's so wrong. Whoa. Essentially what this should be similar to is uh, retro bright, <laughs> but we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot here nonetheless. It's got a nice, uh, a pleasant smell to it. It's kind of interesting. see here it's applied on there got a nice shiny coat going on the sun's peeking out uh, from time to time so hopefully that'll help out quite a bit and uh, we'll go over here and get this one so kind of challenging to uh, to see for this but
hopefully the chemical reaction inside this stuff will be uh, a lot more potent and uh, create much better results than what we've had so far. You know, so far it hasn't been bad. I can't complain about it. It's definitely gotten much brighter uh, or much lighter than it was when it first started, so not bad at all. But uh, it would be nice to finally get over that final step there. And then I can uh, show you guys the difference between this one uh, and the other one that's on the Super Neo 29 uh, right now. I'm sure you guys will be able to tell nonetheless, I mean, just by looking at some older videos, but there's that substantial difference between uh, the two right now. Even if I put this on right now, I think it would still look really nice compared to before. All right, so. Since we got a lot of this left, maybe might as well just go over it quite a bit. Add a little bit more. I think what we'll do is we'll just leave this out here for a couple hours, actually. It says 10, 15 minutes, but we'll leave this out longer just to see if it uh, creates a better, lighter uh, result. If this comes out super bright white, that is uh, that would be awesome. <laughs> no problems there. There's actually quite a lot um, for, of uh, the solution that can be used uh, for multiple applications, I suppose. So that's something good to know, at least with this brand. Alright, so I guess for right now we'll just uh, let this kind of sit here and bake in the sun. As you can see, it's, uh, it's all applied on here and uh, hopefully we'll get some pretty nice results, or at least uh, a little bit better than uh, what we have so far. But uh, yeah, this is part five of the, uh, the process here, and like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching.